welcome to my channel, Saw Logs Plastic Hubs. It's slop in the shop time. So we get our little pig bucket out here with all our little scraps that we've got together for video and making your weekly video blog of what I'm doing. Sort of like pig slop in the old days. I hope you enjoy slop in the shop. Please comment on these videos. And with no further ado, we're gonna grab the bucket, go feed the pig, grab your seat over and watch these pigs eat. Let's have a great time. Good morning. We're gonna do a little shop organizational project this morning. I gotta do some rearranging and I'm gonna take down that uh, little arbor press for right now. I gotta find it a new home and I ain't quite decided where. And there's a couple other things is I need to rearrange some stuff to make this a little bit more of a working area. I may need to move some other stuff around. I'm not decided completely yet. Uh, but we're just going to see. So hang in there with us. This is going to be some slop work. Yeah, I'm not uh, sure what I'm going to do with this little arbor press. Uh, I'll be honest with you, uh, I've had it for a while, and it really, I've never found a good use for it, quite frankly. And so, and I need the space over here, so I'm just going to Take it down, probably put it in storage. I, I'm, I'm thinking about putting it on a stand, maybe outside. And if I, you know, if I decide to do that, let's see if I can reach it there. Get this bolt there. There it fell. Man, if you a brass hammer here, people. Get these, these are like carriage nuts. These are, uh, I'll get them out. Let's hang on loose a bit. I've been tinkering with this idea, so I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put stuff. And put my surface plate, I'm thinking it's going to go right here. Uh, I might end up moving this vise over yet. I haven't completely bought into that idea. But that's kind of what I want to do, is put that there, sort of use it. That way I can come over here in this corner and do some, use the surface plate. I think I need to, but I'm probably, this vice will end up having to move somewhere. It'll end up moving over some, I'm thinking. I ain't kind of got the decision on that yet. So... That way I can have it surface plate accessible. And I'd rather have it over here in sort of the corner out of the way. So. See, that way I can put my tapping machine and stuff kind of back over here in the corner. Let me study on this a little bit. Okay, now we have the toolboxes back in order. And what I did is to sort of split my stuff up so I don't have so much stuff crowded. So I have my square set, my old set of Craftsman calipers, my depth mics, my angle gauge, this little four inch Harbor Freight here in the top. And over in this drawer here, I just put some miscellaneous stuff. Basically, I've got my one, two, three blocks, three of them, my, my uh, V blocks, extra scribes, a couple hemostats, extra scales, ones, an extra edge finder, stuff that I don't use every day or when I want it. I have an empty drawer here for expansion. This drawer here, I put my end of call that I got from Mamco here. This is my edge indicator, and then I've got an indicator laying in here. 
a whole attachment and a couple some odd and end things and containers. In this drawer, I got my hole gauges, wiggler set, such stuff as that. In this bottom drawer, it's just kind of a mix match again. I moved around. This is a protractor. This is an 8 inch digital caliper. And I'm going to take this one out and switch it. That reminds me. I'm going to put my good one in here. This is a Harbor Freight while we're talking. And I've got a really, really good. Oh, uh, yeah, I've got a really, really good one from Shores that I put some stupid word and I'm going to have to find it. It may be in the top box. It, it isn't. I don't have to find where that charge one is. Just hang loose a minute. I'll leave it in there until I find it and I'll do it later. Excuse me for rambling. Then we're going to kind of go over here to this box. Uh, underneath here, you know, I keep all my... So I cleaned this up so now I can close it. So basically I've just got some safety glasses and stuff. I've got a lot of small reamers that I've, I've picked up. These are small reamers. This drawer here has got my deburn tool, a knife, a scale, edge finder. This has got my small mics, one to zero to ones, uh, ID mics, some more mics. This particular drawer here has got my bigger mics. This has sort of got a set of dividers and some other sort of junk and right there is what I was wanting to move. That's that harbor, I mean that's that good Shores a, a 12 inch caliper. It's going to go in this box if it'll fit in there. I'll put something, I'll put something else somewhere else. I want this all my, uh, the, I don't use, so I'm going to, I'm going to switch around while we're talking. This is this is going to be, that's where this is going to live. And this is that Shores caliper here. I mean, this is a Harbor Freight one I bought and I've never liked. So I'm going to find it a home. But it won't fit in a drawer with something else. I might lay it in here with these mics just to let the mics lay on top of it. Just keep it in the, if they'll shut up, close up, there we go. Cause I ain't planning on getting it very often. I never like it. All right, so I've got this drawer, sort of a catch-all of a bench block, a piece for a couple of uh, machine of squares and angle stuff. My plastic drill gauges, my metal ones are over here and this is in the top drawer. And then this is another drawer that's kind of going to be a paper note, pen, calculator sort of drawer. And then this is my bottom drawer, and I need to get these out of here. I want to put these where I can get a hold of them. That's my everyday stairs. I can't lay them in the top of that box. This is the set I bought at the flea market. This old, this is a whole lot better set. And this, this is my set of gauge blocks that I bought. And where I got these at now. And I might leave, and then I guess it's a stirred indicator, and that's my uh, um, uh, coax indicator. So that's how I rearranged it. This stirred, one thing I need to move is stirred somewhere else. And I'm thinking it's just going to go in the top like it used to be. Okay, what we've done here, we've taken a piece of PV uh, conduit. We're going to split the back of it out. It's going to kind of run a line along the back of the conduit, the eyeball. with wood blade. All right. Now let me just take a tool and debar this right quick and we'll go put it in. But what I'm going to do is this little box that the cable company had here. Oh, the little cable thing come loose and the clip broke off. 
So I'm going to protect it with a piece of conduit. That's why I split the back of it for. So when you're weed eating or whatnot, that they won't cause the snow heartburn. You won't be having to call the cable guy out. So. these four screws in it let me get down here get my phone out of my pocket where I can see what I'm doing when you get older it's this bending over crap ain't no dang fun that's for noted fact so see, all I'm doing is just kind of putting this up here to protect it from the weed eater as I come around here weed eating so, I mean, even though I got a spray, he still weed eats something. And so, just to give it that little bit of extra protection right there, I wanted to slap that right there on there. And that ain't nothing but a pit. You know, I got the conduit laying around here for other projects. And Just to hold it up there to the keep it from there, that keep it protected there a little bit. See the old one, they got a clip like fits in the back of it. And the clip broke. So I got her fixed up. One of them little household projects you got to do. Guarantee you that won't get hit. The weed eater won't get that. All right, gentlemen, we got another. I'm gonna get rid of them. Today's a pedal day. I'm organizing. And what I'm doing is this stuff I've got laying around here and that needs a little work done to it. That shelf's been in my way. And I need a plant, need it needs a home. So we're finding it one to get it up somewhere out of the way. So there it is. And see, it'd be perfect for little pork paint cans or stuff like that. See that? Out of my way. Glue. You know, just getting stuff up out of the way. So. I know it looks a little funky, but we don't care. It works. Oops, sorry. Let me hit the camera. So that's kind of what I'm doing today, piddling around. As a side note today, you'll notice right there, there's some oil cup laying on my bench sideways. I goes to show you how well that little bottle works, because... It's just laying there, and I knocked it over, cleaning the mess and around today, and it's just laying there sideways just to show you how good that works. Hey, while we got the camera in here and I'm playing around this morning, we're going to, uh, you know what I'm almost going to do, I'm going to flip this around this away. Uh, this is a block of Durlin or Acetale or maybe UMHW, I'm not rightly sure what flavor it is but this is some of it I had the other day when I was making the card hubs was out a piece of this this is some of the same material so what I'm doing is I've marked it off this side here will be approximately a two inch by two inch square and we'll lay these out eventually to be turned in the rounds like I've done before on video. Like I said, this is a play day. I'm not, I've got some projects, but this afternoon I'm going to have to start prepping for a colonostomy for this tomorrow. So, all you guys that's 50 plus know all about the test. The worst part of it 
is the prep. I haven't had it done since I was 50 and I'm 63 now, so guess it's good time to have it done. So. I'm going to go ahead and cut this camera off, but I'm going to cut both sides. Good. On my uh, meal table <coughs> is the fruits of my labor this morning. Uh, this is some of those pieces. There's actually another piece I sawed off, off camera. So these are two by twos. So I've got one, two, three, four, five two by twos. That's a one by one. We'll have a shop day here soon and we'll set these up and we'll make them round so we'll have some extra round stock, which is something I don't have a lot. This is a little harder stock. This is the same stuff I made the hubs out of. And it, I believe this is UMHW because it's a lot tougher than Durling. I mean, as far as the machine, you can usually tell the difference in it. And, uh, you know, I got all those fixtures out there. I know you've seen them. And these two was already split apart and I lay in there. I've got so many more. I ain't gonna probably do them all that way. I'll do them along the way, but this will get my round stock up a little bit. So let's make me some more two by two. And, one, and a little under one inch stock. And I'll use all of it up as I come along, you know, as we go through it. So. You know, that's just, it, it's, this stuff's expensive, and I got a lot of this flat that I basically got very next to nothing in. I hope you enjoyed our weekly session of feeding the pig here at the Slop in the Shop. Now that the pig's fat and happy, we'll get on a little bit of business. These videos are always a copyright production of James Denman Sawlogs Plastic Hub for your enjoyment here on YouTube. With that being said, I also like to encourage every one of you, if you're not a subscriber to my channel, click the little bell. It doesn't cost anything. There's no financial cost out of your pocket. All you gotta be doing is willing to put up watching my videos. Outside of that, I hope you enjoyed today's Slop in the Shop. We will be back next week with you another Slop in the Shop. And uh, until next week on Slop in the Shop or another one of our videos, good day, and we will see you in the next video.